Hey everyone, I have a empties video for you guys. So I have saved up empties for the past, uh, I'd say two months, and I really wanted to just kind of go through my trash and show you guys um, what I have. Sorry, I'm trying to reach my other trash can so that I can go ahead and throw all these products away and stop hoarding them. <laughs> so anyways, let's just, it's not gonna be in any particular order. I'm just going to dive right in and get started. So the first thing I have are these Equate nighttime soothing makeup palettes and there's 40 in here so I don't really like these for taking off my makeup but when I'm filming or if I'm swatching and playing with my makeup I love these to um, just take the swatches off of my hands um, but they do also help if I'm wanting to quickly take off my makeup but it, I don't think that it takes all of them off um, anyways I will repurchase these just because they're handy to have around when I play with my makeup <laughs> Next thing is my Batiste Dry Shampoo, and this is the original scent. Guys, I have probably gone through 20 of these bottles. I will definitely be repurchasing. In fact, I have another one already that I'm using. Next is, I'm going to go ahead and get all three of them, is my Garnier Fructis Damage Eraser. I've had questions about what I do with my hair, how I style it. Well, I owe it all to this shampoo and conditioner right here. This stuff is better than any high-end shampoo and conditioner I've ever tried. And let me tell you guys, I try a new shampoo and conditioner like every time I go to the store. So uh, once I found these, I fell in love with it and I can't live without it. And I also like the mask that they have too. So highly recommend those and I've already repurchased and they're being used up as we speak. Next is a nail polish remover. I talked about this in my drugstore uh, drug haul. I go through nail polish remover like it's no one's business, so I've already repurchased and I will repurchase this again. Next, these are my favorite makeup um, towelettes for taking makeup off completely, and it is the Maybelline Clean Express. These smell amazing, so I think that's why I like them so much, but they do a great job, and I also use, well, here it is. I also use the Maybelline Flash Clean Makeup Removing Lotion, so these two together are awesome, and I highly recommend these and will be repurchasing them. I'm so excited I'm going through all this stuff. Finally. Um, I have a little bit left, um, but this is the Caress Evenly Gorgeous Burnt Brown Sugar and Carrot Butter? I don't know. Anyways, um, I like the scent of this, but I like different scents every time I get them so I may repurchase this but closer to like the fall and winter because it's kind of that kind of, um it's got that kind of scent it reminds me of that so <laughs> anyway next is the salicylic acid acne treatment facial scrub for blemishes and blackheads I love this stuff um, it's very harsh and I'm actually trying something different with my skin so I'm not going to repurchase this yet but if I feel like I don't like what I'm doing with my skin, if my skin starts acting a little funky, then I'll definitely go back to this. So, anyways, I do recommend that. I have some stuff that is just old, expired, or that I didn't want anymore that I will also go through as well. <clears throat> Next is the Well at Walgreens brand Acne System 2.5 Benzol Peroxide. Um, if y'all have watched a couple of my videos, especially my Get Ready With Me videos, I use benzoyl peroxide before um, every makeup application to prevent anything from happening. So right now I'm using the acne free one, um, but I will definitely uh, pick up this whenever I run out of the other. Hold on guys, I need a drink. <laughs> guys, McDonald's Cokes are the best. Do you agree? They're just so good. I love them. Anyways. Back to what we were talking about. The Cetaphil Oil Control Moisturizer. Um, I'm going to repurchase this. I tried the Neutrogena one that's supposed to kind of be like this, but nothing beats this one. This one is amazing. It's $15 though, so I wanted to try to find something a little cheaper, but you get what you pay for, so I'm definitely going to go back to this one. Next is an All May One Coat Thickening. I used to love this mascara, but I, lately I found a lot um, more mascaras that I like better, so I'm not going to repurchase this. This is what the brush looks like. And yeah, it was good for, you know, just a cheap mascara, but I'm, I'm not going to repurchase that. Next is a Degree Motion Sense Daisy Fresh. 
I love Degree. I only use Degree. I tried to use the spray, the new spray deodorant, and it was terrible. I hated it. I will never use that again. So I've already repurchased another one of these, and I love Degree deodorant. Let's see. Next is an It's a Tin Miracle Leave-In product, and this stuff is great. I do really like this, but I have found some drugstore options that I also like, so I'm kind of on the fence with this, but it is a great um, detangler for my hair. It kind of softens it, so it is great, and I may repurchase it. I'm not sure yet, though. Next is, whoop, next is a sample of the Smashbox ooh, pore filler primer stuff. I don't know what it's called. Um, it dried up, so I'm going to get rid of this, but I'm on the fence with it. I think I need to get another sample and try it one more time. I just, I don't know how I like it, so I'm still trying to decide on that one. Next are some Maybelline tattoos, and I love these things, and if you would like me to do a series on um, different looks that I can come up with all the different tattoos, then let me know because I love these. I love these so much. Um, so the ones that I'm getting rid of, I've used a lot or they've just dried up. And I don't know why this was a special edition. It was the Just Beige and it reminds me of MAC Soft Ochre. And it is just dried, dried, dried. But this is awesome and I wish Maybelline would come back with the Just Beige tattoo. So getting rid of that one. The other one that kind of dried up is the Deep Forest and don't get the Deep Forest one. It's not good. So I'm not going to miss that one. And Bad to the Bronze is my all-time favorite. And as you can see, I hit Major Pan and it just kind of dried up after that. And I will definitely repurchase this one. Oh, I have one more. And this one is Tough as Taupe. I realized that the matte ones kind of dry up a lot faster. But you can see that it's just like kind of dried up away from the glass thing. So... I don't really like the matte ones as much as I like the shimmery metallic ones. Next is a Dior Show Ionic Overcurl Mascara, and this stuff is amazing, and it's also expensive. This is what the brush looks like. It's a little curved, as you can see. Um, I really like this, and whenever I can splurge on mascara again, I will probably pick it up. Next is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil-Free Micro Clear Blemish Treatment with Salicylic Acid Foundation. Um, this reminds me a lot of the Clinique Foundation right here. So if you're wanting to try this out, but you don't want to spend the money on that, definitely try this one. Um, this one has expired, so that's why I'm getting rid of it. But it is an awesome foundation. It's great for all you oily skin, acne-prone girls out there. I highly recommend this one. We are still going. <laughs> Next is the Maximum Strength Acne Medication Benzoyl Peroxide 10%. I use this at night. Um, this is the Target version. I'm okay with any 10% Benzoyl Peroxide. It doesn't matter what brand. This just happened to be cheap, so that's why I picked it up. And I will always repurchase some kind of Benzoyl Peroxide treatment. Next is a, a More Pacific Moisture Bound Rejuvenating Cream. Um, it was... A moisturizer so you know not going to repurchase it <laughs> here is another tenzol or tenzol benzol peroxide 10% acne treatment this is the Walmart brand and I've already repurchased another one of those guys we are on the stretch the home stretch um, this is the NYX retractable eyeliner in black I absolutely love this one um, but it has dried up and seen its last day so I will definitely repurchase that the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur Instant Smooth Skin Smoother is awesome. If you're willing to splurge for a drugstore primer, this is the way to go. It is $20, so if you, it's kind of mm, iffy. Do you want to spend a little bit more and get a high end, or do you want to just stick with $20 and get this one? I don't know. Up to you. Next is the NYX Powder Black Liner, and this stuff is stupid. It's terrible. If you want to shadow line your eyeliners, get a black shadow that's pressed. Not this. Like, this doesn't make sense. It, look at this. Do you see, like, stuff flying out? It's just, 
I don't get it. No, not repurchasing that. Next is the Fergie Wet n Wild Vel Velvet Matte Lip Color in Transcendence. I don't know. This is what it looks like, and I was so disappointed. Hold on. Ugh, okay. It fell out. The whole thing fell out. I got to wear it one time. So packaging really sucks on this. So if you do get these, then you need to definitely be really careful when taking it off and putting it on your lips. Otherwise, it's going to fall out and you will only have gotten one use out of your lipstick. So I'm not going to repurchase that. Next is the Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Talc Free Mineral Face Powder in Beige. I hate this stuff. I've heard people rave about it. But for me, it just didn't work. It was too powdery. And I have so many awesome powders, drugstore, high-end, that blow this one out of the water. So I am getting rid of that. Next is the Essence. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. This is what it looks like. I've hit pan on it. And I don't like it. After trying the e.l.f sheer translucent HD powder thing. This one is no good, so I would not recommend it. I'm not going to repurchase it, and it has made a huge mess. Uh. Next is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder, and I hit major paint on it, and there's really none left, so I have another one I've already repurchased, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Next is this... Oh, sorry. Next is this Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation in tan, and it is way too dark. I don't see myself ever being able to wear this because it is very orange as well, so I'm going to get rid of this, and I've already bought the right shade for me. Next is this CoverGirl and Olay Powder, and it's just really powdery, kind of like the Physician's Formula. I just have so many better powder foundations, or powder foundations and powders that I don't need this one so I'm gonna go ahead and toss it and three more guys three more next is this expert last lip lacquer in NYC and it is Chelsea cherry and this stuff smells horrific I don't know if it was just this one or if it's all of them but I'm getting rid of it and I'm not going to repurchase these Next one is the number seven Lift and Luminate Foundation. I put it in this box, but I had already told you I was going to throw this away in my Keeper or Tosser high, or Drugstore Foundation, so I'm tossing that one. And last but not least is the Benefit Professional, and I love this stuff. I like this better than the Smashbox right now. I'm going to try the Smashbox a little bit more and see um, how the two compare, but I will definitely repurchase this. Oh, one more right here on my lap, and this is... The CoverGirl Clump Pressure Mascara. I will always repurchase this. It's dried up, but this stuff, guys, is just amazing. I mean, it literally crushes your clumps. So, you know, it's great, great, great mascara. Anyways, guys, that is all of my empties. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.